Hello students. In the last two lecture, lectures we see the equation of circles. Okay. Equation of circle in a standard form, center radius form and diameter form. And some examples in the exercise 6.1. Okay. Now, <coughs> we continue the examples in the exercise 6.1. Okay. Find the equation of circle. Okay. We know that to find the equation of circle, we know the center and radius of that circle. Okay. To find equation of circle, we know two things that is the center of the circle and radius of the circle. Then we find the equation of circle in the center radius form. Okay. X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square is equal to R square. H comma K it is the center and R is the radius of the circle. Okay. To find equation of circle, we know only two things that is the center of the circle and radius of the circle. Okay. Now, we see the example here. It is the third example in the exercise 6.1. <coughs> find the equation of circle okay, with center. Okay, here, first example with center a comma b and touching y axis. <coughs> in the first example, there is center is given but radius is not given. Okay, here, we can solve this. Here, solution of number 1. Here, given that. Given that center of circle. at a comma b okay it is a center that means we can write c it is a center h comma k is equal to it is c center a comma b it is a center and touching y axis and circle touching y axis okay here it is a given center is given and circle touching y axis that means y axis is a tangent to the circle okay here y axis is a tangent to the circle we can draw here suppose it is x and it is y it is a comma b we can take anywhere it is a point it is origin okay here we take here it is a comma b it is a center now circle touching y axis okay here we can here it is a center c a comma b okay. and circle touching y axis that means y axis is a tangent to the circle and we know that the radius at tangent point it is a perpendicular to the tangent it is a tangent point it is a center then it is a radius okay and then we know that the point is a comma zero that means the distance it is a therefore it is a yeah therefore <coughs> the radius of the circle it is a, a. and center a comma b center and radius we know and then we find the equation of circle therefore here we can write here therefore radius of circle is it is r is equal to a now equation of circle equation of circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square here h and k are the a and b and it is r it is a a therefore we can write x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to a square it is the equation of circle we expand it therefore we can write x square minus 2ax plus a square plus y square minus 2by plus b square is equal to a square okay now it is plus a square and this a square get cancelled we can write x square plus y square x square and y square a square get cancelled minus 2ax minus 2by plus b square is equal to 0 it is an equation of circle with center at a comma b and radius is a radius when the circle touching y axis okay now we see the next example see careful this
here in the second example given that the center of the circle at minus 2 comma 3 that is c h comma k it is a center minus 2 comma 3 and touching x axis Okay. Here, <clears throat> here center, it is a particular point. In the last example, there is a a comma b. Okay, any point. Here, it is a coordinates of the point minus two comma three. That means this point in the second quadrant. Okay. So here, see carefully. It is x-axis and it is y-axis. Two comma three. Suppose here, it is a minus two comma three. Okay. It is a center and touching x-axis. Okay. Here. Therefore, we can draw the circle touching the x-axis. Okay, it is like that. It is C minus 2 comma 3. Again, we know that <coughs> the radius of the circle at tangent point, it is a perpendicular radius at a tangent point. It is a perpendicular to the tangent and here x-axis is a tangent to the circle. Therefore, this distance, it is a radius. Now, this coordinates of the point minus 2 comma 3 coordinates of the point it is a minus 2 comma 3 that means it is a 3 here minus 2 comma 3 therefore this distance on the y axis it is a 3 okay see careful this distance it is a 3 therefore it is a radius 3 and center minus 2 comma 3 we know that the radius and center so we can find the equation of circle and therefore radius of circle radius of circle it is r it is a 3 and therefore equation of circle it is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square plus sorry it is is equal to r square then x plus 2 whole square h comma k h is a minus 2 plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 3 square and then expand it is x square plus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 9 then this 9 9 get cancelled we can write the equation of circle it is x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y and plus 4 is equal to 0 it is an equation of circle with center at minus 2 comma 3 and touching x axis that is x axis is a tangent to the circle now we see the third example Now, here it is the third. Find the equation of circle having center on the x axis and passing through origin having radius 4 in it. Here, it is the third example given center of circle on x axis. and passing through and passing through origin having radius 4 okay here center of the circle on the x axis center on the x axis that means the coordinate of the center it is a h comma 0 h comma 0 it is a y coordinate on the x axis it is a 0 therefore center it is a h comma 0 and here the radius is given okay. we want to find the center of the circle here again given it is also it is a circle passing through origin okay here see carefully here center of the circle on the x axis okay and passing through origin Okay. circle passing through origin therefore circle 
like that passing through origin and radius it is a 4 okay therefore coordinate of center it is a 4 comma 0 see carefully here okay here circle passing through origin and center on the x axis that means center on the x axis that is x axis is a diameter of the circle okay here x axis is a diameter of the circle therefore it is y axis is a tangent to the circle because x axis and y axis are the perpendicular therefore it is a center and it is a line it is a perpendicular therefore it is a radius and radius is given therefore coordinate of center are given but here center on only x axis positive x axis cannot be indicate here only indicate the x axis okay so center is also on the negative side therefore we can draw a circle here radius it is a 4 but coordinate of center now it is a 4 comma minus 4 comma radius it is a 4 but coordinate of a center it is a minus 4 comma 0 therefore the center of the circle it is a plus or minus 4 comma 0 center it is a 4 comma 0 or minus 4 comma 0 because center on the x axis and radius it is a 4 therefore either this side or this side therefore center of the circle is it is a c h comma k and it is c plus or minus 4 comma 0 and then radius it is a given radius is it is r is equal to 4 therefore equation of circle equation of circle is then here equation of circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square then x here it is a h it is a plus or minus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square and is equal to 4 square see carefully therefore squaring on both sides it is a x square plus or minus 8x and here a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square it is a b square it is a positive it is a 16 plus y square is equal to 16 and therefore x square plus y square plus or minus 8x is equal to 0 16 16 get cancel it is the equation of circle okay here see carefully it is a equation of circle x square plus y square plus or minus 8x now we see the last example that is the fourth example in the third example Given center of circle at three comma one, that is C H comma K. It is a C center three comma one and touching the line. Eight x minus fifteen y plus twenty five is equal to zero. Here, here given that center and tangent to the circle, we have to find the radius of the circle. To find the equation of circle, we know that center and radius. Here, center is given. We find the radius. Now, the tangent is given, and we know that distance of a tangent from the center it is a radius. Here. Here it is a center C three comma one and then it is a tangent. Tangent it is eight x minus fifteen y plus twenty five is equal to zero. It is a tangent. Now we know that 
it is a radius okay it is r and then distance of a point c from this line it is a radius that is the distance of a distance of a tangent from the center here we use the perpendicular distance formula we know that here a point it is x1 comma y1 okay it is a point and it is a line then perpendicular distance it is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 distance of a point from the line it is ax1 plus by1 plus c upon under root of a square plus b square it is a perpendicular distance and here the perpendicular distance it is a radius okay now radius is length of perpendicular length of perpendicular of point length of perpendicular of center that is a c 3 comma 1 from tangent 8x minus 15y plus 25 is equal to 0 that is a distance of point from this line and therefore you can write here r is equal to 8 into 3 minus 15 into 1 plus 25 upon under root of 8 square plus here it is a 15 yes minus 15 square a square plus b square by this formula okay it is a perpendicular distance and then it is a 24 minus 15 plus 25 upon under root of 64 plus 225 see carefully okay. then calculate this it is a plus 10 34 34 and upon under root of here it is a 289 it is a 17 therefore radius is equal to 34 upon 17 and that is a 2 2 is a radius and center is a given then we find the equation of circle therefore equation of circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square okay yeah. to find the equation of circle we know only the center and radius of that circle center is given we find the radius then we find the equation of circle therefore we can write here x h it is a center 3 x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square is equal to 2 square it is a radius and then expand it is x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 4 and then equation of circle x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y here 9 plus 1 10 and it is 4 minus that means plus 6 is equal to 0 it is a required equation of circle whose center at 3 comma 1 and tangent this line and then distance between tangent and center okay distance of a tangent from the center it is a radius of the circle okay distance of a tangent from the center it is a radius of the circle so we can find radius by using the dis perpendicular distance formula perpendicular distance of point from the line okay here see now we see the next example
नेक्स्ट फोर्थ एग्जाम्पल फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल इफ द इक्वेशन ऑफ टू डायमीटर्स आर टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर फेन रेडियस ऑफ सर्कल इज नाइन Okay, here we want to find the equation of circle, and we know that to find the equation of circle, we know the center and radius of that circle. Okay, here radius is already given, but center is not given. Okay, but here given that the equation of diameter of the circle here, see carefully. Here it is a circle, it is a first diameter and it is a second diameter. Okay, here it is a two x plus y. Is equal to six, and this it is a three x plus two y is equal to four. Okay, are the two diameters, and we know that the point of intersection of diameters it is a center. Okay, now to find the point of intersection of these two lines, and these two lines are the diameter, and then we find the point of intersection by solving these two equations, we get the center, and when we know center and radius is already given. Then we find the equation of circle. To find the equation of circle, we know only the center and radius. Center is given. Sorry, it is a radius is given. Center we find the by using the point of intersection of these two lines. And these two lines are the diameter of the circle. And point of intersection of diameters of a circle it is a center. Okay, here given that. radius of circle is it is a 9 that is r is equal to 9 it is a given and equation of diameters it is a 2x plus y is equal to 6 it is a first and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. It is the second. Okay, are the equations of diameters. Okay, now to find the center, center is a point of intersection of diameters. Here, center is point of intersection of diameter. therefore to find the center of the circle we solve these two equations therefore to solve two equations we multiply equation 1 by 2 and subtract it is we multiply equation number 1 by 2 and subtract 2 this gives see carefully here it is a 4x plus 2y is equal to 12 we multiply by 2 3x plus 2y is equal to 4, and by subtracting, it is minus minus minus. It is x. It is a cancel. It is 8. x is equal to 8, and by equation number 1, by 1, x is equal to 8. Therefore, 2 into 8 plus y is equal to 6, and therefore, it is a 16. Y is equal to minus 10. <coughs> it is 16. Y is equal to minus 10. And then point of intersection of these two equation, it is x comma y. Therefore, <coughs> it is center of circle is 
x comma y that is 8 comma minus 10 here it is a my 16 to get here minus 10 and therefore equation of circle <coughs> here center we can write here h comma k form that is c h comma k it is a c 8 comma minus 10 and therefore equation of circle it is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square then x minus 8 whole square plus y plus 10 whole square and is equal to 9 square radius it is a 9 then x square minus 16 x plus 64 plus y square plus 20 y plus 100 is equal to 81 and then last answer here x square plus y square minus 16 x plus 20 y x square y squares x and it is y now constant 1600 and it is 81 81 here minus okay 100 minus 81 it is a 19 and 19 plus 64 19 plus 64 here see carefully 19 plus 64 it is 83 it is an equation of circle. Okay, see carefully. Check the calculations.